class now. Still sucks. A full hour, then shiver me timbers for a swashbuckling family guy. Shoot it again. What? I said shoot it again, but I said it pirate-like. And American Dad's on a quest for faith. Wait, the Lord is my shepherd, but you're my ride home. Animation domination spans the globe at 7, 6 Central, Sunday on Fox. It's the best time to drive a Ford because Ford quality is now equal to Toyota. Right now, during Ford's model year clearance, every Ford comes with our best offers of the year, like the redesigned Escape. I love this car. The exciting Edge. Oh, that's fantastic. And the five-star safety rated Expedition. One of my favorite features was the rear view camera. I mean, I'm totally impressed. Attention, current Ford owners. Get up to $67.50 cash back on select Ford crossovers and SUVs at your local Ford dealer. One of the largest Toyota dealerships in the world is now open. The spectacular new Priority Toyota. The largest car and truck showroom you've ever seen. A service facility for 100 cars and trucks. A full service hair salon. A movie theater complete with popcorn. Gourmet cafe and catering service. Children's play area and a massive aquarium. And one of the largest selections of Toyotas in the world. The grand opening of the new Priority Toyota. More room to chase you around. From the Fox 43 studio, your late news an hour earlier. This is Fox 43 News at 10, first in high definition. They could save your child's life or prove deadly. Disturbing details about medicines prescribed for children, even though they've never been tested on them. Plus, what caused a plane to skid across the tarmac at Norfolk International Airport and two different crashes send two state troopers to the hospital in Newport News. And that's first on Fox. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lori Crouch. Two different drivers hit two Virginia State Troopers in Newport News within hours of each other. The first happened at 730 this morning when a driver apparently fell asleep at the wheel and hit a trooper's car while he was writing a ticket. Then at about four hours later, another driver hit a trooper on a motorcycle. Both troopers went to the hospital with minor injuries along with the driver who fell asleep at the wheel. Fox 43's Oren Lieberman joins us live from Chesapeake where troopers are being extra careful in Operation Air, Land and Speed. Oren? Lori, this operation targets some of the major highways in Hampton Roads, 64, 264, 464, and 664. It was a two-day operation yesterday and today targeting speeding, reckless driving, and all the other dangerous things on the road. But as you're about to see, maybe this operation should have lasted a little longer. There's been a lot of traffic out here today, a lot of speeders. Trooper Mark Walden knows he's going to get what he's looking for. Already, he's had to chase down a motorcycle doing triple digits. Uh, he looked back, he saw me, and he decided to take off. Uh, we got up to a speed of about 123, 123 miles an hour. Just didn't make no sense. It's been that kind of day and that kind of month. This morning, two troopers were hit on the road, both on I-64. One was sideswiped by a driver police say fell asleep at the wheel. Another trooper on a motorcycle was hit by a passing car. It can happen in a moment. I mean, there's been many times myself standing on this side of the road, and you will see my head just constantly turning because it's nerve-wracking. It's nerve-wracking. And this month, 12 people have died in traffic accidents in Hampton Roads. To Walden, that's 12 too many. And it hurts. I mean, those are, it really hurts. All of that is on his mind as he waits and watches. Nearby, two more troopers have already tagged someone for speeding. Another trooper passes by on the same search. Stop here for a second. My producers gave me a minute 30 seconds to show you what Trooper Walden is looking for. We're about a minute into the story right now, and on an open stretch of I-64 with a speed limit of 55, Trooper Walden will get his man in three, two, one. One minute and 10 seconds after Trooper Walden finished up our interview and pulled out his radar gun, he's already caught someone speeding, risking the safety he's working to protect. And for all the answers he gave us so far, this one is at a loss of words to explain. They just don't realize. I mean, they think they're invincible. They think we're invincible. I, I, I just don't know. What he does know is speed limits, reckless driving laws, and all the other rules are not here to slow you down. They're here to protect you. Of those two drivers that hit uh, troopers on the road, the one that police say fell asleep at the wheel was charged with reckless driving. Charges are pending in the other case. Live in Chesapeake, Orrin Lieberman, Fox 43 News.
Virginia's move over law requires drivers to slow down or move over if an emergency vehicle is pulled off to the side of the road. State police say breaking the move over law is a class one misdemeanor that carries a $2,500 fine and up to 12 months in jail. In Virginia Beach, police say a man drove off the road and died while speeding away from them. It happened just after one this morning at the intersection of Bird Neck and Hughes Avenue. Police say 37 year old Glenn Corpew was swerving and hitting barrels. When an officer tried to pull him over, police say he made a U-turn and sped off. A passenger was taken to the hospital but should be okay. Police say alcohol, speed and no seatbelts were all factors in the crash. Ten moments at Norfolk International Airport after a plane crashed on the runway. A twin-engine Beach Baron plane skidded to a halt on the runway around noon after its landing gear collapsed. Investigators still don't know what caused the gear to collapse. The crash caused delays for other flights while crews cleared the wreckage. A flight tracking site shows the plane took off from Raleigh-Durham. The pilot was the only one on board. Airport authorities say the pilot is okay. A shooting turned into a homicide investigation for Norfolk police. Police were called to Ballview Avenue just after 11 last night. They found 23-year-old Dewan Floyd shot and lying on the street. If you have any information, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Remember, you can remain anonymous. A Hampton teen is behind bars accused of shooting a Suffolk man in the leg. Police say the 17-year-old shot Trenton Higgs on Blythewood Lane Thursday. That's in the Lake Kennedy Park area. Higgs remains in the hospital. The teen faces several charges, including malicious wounding and use of a firearm in a felony. Weeks since they arrived to help battle the flames in a wildfire burning in North Carolina, Florida wildfire firefighters are getting ready to head home. The crew's last day of firefighting is tomorrow. The lightning strike sparked the fire last month, burning more than 40,000 acres. Infrared images captured in a flyover this morning showed isolated hot spots, but crews have contained 75% of the fire. Firefighters plan to flood those hot spots. Florida firefighters say they appreciate everyone's hospitality and the support they receive from the North Carolina firefighters. Meanwhile, officials fighting the Great Dismal Swamp wildfire fear the fire could rekindle. Despite nearly eight inches of rain this month, the fire is still burning. It scorched more than 4,600 acres since it started June 9th. A refuge spokesman says it will take heavy rain from a tropical storm or tropical depression in a short period of time to finally put out the blaze. Only 100 days left before America picks the nation's next president. Campaigners for Barack Obama launched a statewide canvassing effort in North Carolina. The goal? To register new voters and encourage North Carolina voters to back the Democratic presidential candidate. Volunteers for Obama's campaign scattered across 45 cities and towns today. They also plan to open more offices around the state. Advisors for Senator John McCain says the campaign plans to initially hire about a half a dozen workers dedicated to the state. Meanwhile, McCain hit the campaign trail today with the help of technology. He spoke via satellite from Arizona to the National Disability Forum in Columbus, Ohio. The nonpartisan forum focused on a wide range of issues affecting Americans with disabilities, including health care, education, long-term community-based support groups. McCain pledged support for a proposal to expand the Americans with Disabilities Act, which protects citizens from discrimination based on physical or mental disabilities. No doubt Senator Barack Obama's overseas tour was a huge hit abroad, but a new Fox poll cast doubt on whether the trip helped the Democratic presidential hope for with voters right here at home. Fox's Rick Leventhal searches for answers. Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama is making big news with his overseas trip, but our latest Fox News Opinion Dynamics poll shows Americans are skeptical of the media coverage, and the poll sheds doubt on whether the trip will help Obama win votes at home. More than two-thirds of Americans think most members of the media have a horse in this race, and it's Obama. And that's not just Republicans saying that. 61% of Democrats and 63% of independents agree the press is pulling for the Democrats. I hit the streets of New York to see what everyday people are saying about the coverage. Who do you think is getting the most positive press? Obama. Most definitely. He's getting a, a very positive light. Uh, they're not asking very hard questions of him. Who do you think most members of the media will be voting for in November? Barack Obama. Hopefully Obama. 
In our poll, 46% say the Illinois senator gets more positive press than McCain. Only 6% say McCain is getting the better deal. A third says the media is covering the campaigns objectively. And what about Obama's visit to Afghanistan, Iraq, Jordan, and Israel? Was it a campaign event or an effort to gather facts? I think uh, it's a mixed bag. Was this a fact-finding mission, do you think? Yes. I think so. I think he's investigating. I'm happy about that. 47% vote campaign event. So will Obama's rock star reception in Europe deliver votes in the USA? We polled Americans before Obama's speech in Germany. 29% said his popularity overseas would make them more likely to vote for the senator. Almost as many, 27%, said less likely. And 41% said it would make no difference at all to their vote. No bounce for Obama in this latest Fox News poll conducted after the senator had been overseas for several days. The race remains a dead heat as Americans weigh their choices. And even after drawing huge crowds for a speech in Berlin, Obama may be facing some tough competition. There were 200,000 people showed up to see him in Berlin. So who do you think is more popular, Barack Obama or David Hasselhoff in Germany? David Hasselhoff. Probably David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Even with 200,000 people showing up? Probably. It's not everybody's idea of a conventional vacation. Looking to get away but don't know where to go? Why a Virginia woman says swapping houses with total strangers is the perfect idea. And still ahead, lawmakers work on the weekend to help hundreds of thousands of homeowners fighting foreclosure. Well, a nice and quiet day today here in Hampton Roads and North Carolina. But take a look at live Super Doppler 10. One storm to the north. That one's out of our area, but we have more storms in the forecast for tomorrow. We'll talk about it. Stick around. This is your late news first on Fox with Lori Crouch and Super Doppler 10 meteorologist Cheryl Nelson. You're watching Fox 43 News at 10. HamptonRoads.com. More than just news, it's an online community for everything Hampton Roads. Find local restaurants, real estate, and jobs at the click of a mouse. Check the highways and your forecast before heading out. Get the scoop on your favorite shows, movies, and more. Start your own blogs, add photos, watch videos. Stay connected with the latest news from the team you trust. Find it first on the most powerful local online community. MyFoxHamptonRoads.com. MyFoxHamptonRoads.com. <laughs> on everybody's mind these days. So trade up to better fuel economy now at the Chevy Model Year-End Event with a fuel-efficient 08 Chevy. Like the Malibu, one of eight Chevy models that offers an EPA-estimated 30 MPG highway or better, more than Toyota, more than Honda. Get a low-mileage lease on this 08 Malibu 1 LT for around $229 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. See your local Chevy dealer today. Tara Gielig is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell her story, we hired the Pips. Not long ago, I was in a car accident. Ooh, bender, bender. With Geico's Auto Repair Express, the adjuster, repair shop, and rental car were all right there. Rental car smells like sunshine. To top it off, my rates stayed the same. Take the train to happy town. Woo Geico, real service, real savings. This summer, Bones and House make Fox Mondays unforgettable. You're quite impressed with yourself. <sighs> it wouldn't be. Bones and House, Monday starting at 8 on Fox. It's the best time to drive a Ford. During Ford's model year clearance, every Ford truck comes with our best offers of the year. F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 31 straight years. F-150. It's the perfect truck. Super Duty. Very good pickup. With the most towing and payload out there. And Ranger, with the best mileage of any pickup in America. Final days. Save up to almost $11,000 on an F-150 Super Crew. Now with Ford employee pricing and cash back at your local Ford dealer. This segment of Fox 43 News is brought to you by Golden Corral. There's no place like Golden Corral for all kinds of delicious seafood. Come in tonight for our new Captain Shrimp and Seafood Table, featuring our new freshly made grilled crab cakes, golden delicious shrimp, and tender fish fillets, breaded, battered, or baked. Plus, enjoy more than 100 other choices on our huge dinner buffet, all at a price you can handle. Catch our new Captain Shrimp and Seafood Table for a limited time only. There's no place like Golden Corral.
in your house, sleeping in your bed. The setting for a unique vacation. It's called house swapping, and it's the latest way to cut down on vacation costs. Zane Verge reports. For 20 years, Lauren Kahn has been welcoming total strangers to her home. She's about to meet Ken and Shirley Bullock for the first time and hand over her house keys. Hi, yeah, I made it. Hi, how are you? The Bullocks are trading their home in Australia for Lauren's in McLean, Virginia for a month. It's not everybody's idea of a conventional vacation. If you want more than a one-night stay for free, all you have to do is go to some of these home-swapping websites and your entire world is open. It's already popular in Europe. Now it's picking up steam in the U.S. and elsewhere as eager swappers showcase their homes. Oh, Kenya. Nice. It's an adventure. This will be Lauren's 35th house swap. What you do get is a lot of cross-cultural experiences. Right. Yeah. They also swap cars. Lauren and ourselves were exchanging cell phones. So she'll be using ours there, we're using hers here. They don't call China. Travel editor Keith Bellows champions house swapping, but warns, do your homework. You really need to think through, am I willing to leave my home? in uh, someone else's hands, somebody I've never met before. That's the question that people keep asking. You can let people in your home, they say, and, but you'll be in their house. Even with careful research, you could be in for a surprise. The worst one was, was the house in Bavaria, which was absolutely filthy. The car didn't work. The rules, a clean home and advice for guests. How to drive the car, I have a new car, and they get a new car with less than a thousand miles. Where to go to get food, where to go for other shopping. On Kawana Island in Australia, the Bullocks leave Lauren treats. Oh, and some chocolates. And a welcome first meal. Beef casserole. A couple vacationing in the U.S. spends, on average, $250 a day in meals and hotels. The Bullocks are spending only $75 per day. Is it the money that you save? I'd still say money has to come last. It's the people. To also do it, of course, to save money. But I would never have had the quality of vacations that I've had and the experiences I've had without without all my exchanges. And I wouldn't give them up for the world because what I like more than anything else is to travel. Ever wonder how many dolphins are swimming off our coast? With their eyes to the ocean, volunteers with the Virginia Aquarium Stranding Response Team took a tally today. Nearly 100 people set up station from Cape Henry to the North Carolina line. The count not only sizes up the region's dolphin population, but also where their habitat is located. Officials plan to use the count to determine the dolphin's impact in our area. They only eat about 30 or 40 pounds of food, but if you're talking about a population of 4,000 dolphins between North Carolina and New Jersey, that could have an impact on the, the fisheries. The data from the 16th annual count will be shared up and down the East Coast. Hampton Roads reels in a top ranking as the filth, fifth wealthiest seafood port in the country in 2007. Now that's despite environmental concerns about fish and shellfish levels in Virginia waters. The National Marine Fishery Service says watermen across the region reported netting more than $70 million worth of fish and shellfish at local docks. That's up about $20 million from 2006. The historic Chesapeake Bay Village accounted for 421 million pounds of fish and shellfish. And people feasted on blue crabs today at the Blue Crab Festival in Chesapeake. The South Norfolk Roritan Club hosted the event. On the menu, all you could eat steamed crabs, pork barbecue, hush puppies, and coleslaw. Proceeds benefit various Roritan community service projects in Chesapeake. And it was a perfect day to go out and eat some crabs, hang out on the beach. It was gorgeous. I got my lawn mowed. But as we turn into Sunday, may not be so nice, Cheryl. Yeah, things are going to be changing, Lori. That's exactly right. Today, glad you got to enjoy everything outside because as we take you into Sunday, a little bit different. We'll get to that in just a second. First, though, let's talk about what's happening now. Live Super Doppler 10. For the most part, things are quiet, but I said before there may be an isolated shower or storm. We've got a big one up across parts in northern Virginia. Several warnings out just because of that one cell. That cell is drifting down to the southeast right now, far away from us, and probably won't make it this far south, but certainly something to watch over the next couple hours or so. That one will likely fizzle out after a little bit of time. Otherwise, though, things right now are 
clear across our neck of the woods as far as showers and storms are concerned. Temperatures out there, well, not too bad. I guess it's comfortable maybe for some, a little bit muggy out there. Generally in the 70s, 77 Virginia Beach, 79 right now in Suffolk, also in Newport News, and currently 76 in Norfolk and 81 in Williamsburg, 79 Franklin and Melfa at this time. Now temperatures elsewhere, well, if you don't like the heat, our friends right now out across the Plain States are not enjoying this stuff. Well, unless they like it, of course. 98 was the high today in Jackson, 100 Oklahoma City. They will have to deal with lots of heat over the next couple of days. For us, though, temperatures kind of kept in check. Pretty normal for this time of the year middle 80s to lower 90s. Now let's talk about precipitation again right now for the most part skies are mainly clear to partly cloudy across our neck of the woods that one storm across parts of northern Virginia but I want to draw your attention back to the west here doesn't look very impressive now but there's a cold front moving into the Pittsburgh area that is going to approach us later tomorrow and with that better chance for some scattered showers and storms tonight though only an isolated shower or storm around as you saw but then more numerous showers and storms Sunday afternoon and evening and some of these here's a heads up could be on the strong to potentially severe side with some gusty winds, perhaps some hail, a lot of lightning and some torrential downpours. So keep that in mind if you have any plans out and about as we take you into later Sunday. Again tonight, just isolated shower or storm. Most of us won't see it. But then again, later on Sunday, look what happens here. One o'clock, scattered showers and storms by six o'clock. Oh no, here we go. And again, some of these could pack a punch. Later into Sunday evening, certainly a good chance for some rain across the area as well. This continues into parts of Sunday night. Then by Monday, just an isolated leftover shower or storm. So our forecast overnight, stray shower or storm, otherwise clear to partly cloudy. Temperatures tonight averaging around 70 degrees or so. As we take you into the day tomorrow, let's take a look at our forecast here where you live. Well, temperatures between 85 and 90 degrees with scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. Across portions of the south side, more of the same scattered showers and storms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Some strong to severe temperatures about what they were today, 85 to 90 degrees. Seven day forecast Monday lingering shower and storm 88 degrees, but then it gets hot as we take you into the middle part of the week. Temperatures into the 90s. It gets hot around here by Tuesday and Wednesday. Lori. All right, thanks, Cheryl. The sounds of jazz filled Town Point Park in Norfolk earlier tonight. The 26th annual Norfolk Jazz Festival wrapped up tonight, taking the stage the Rippingtons and Ken Navarro. This is the region's longest running outdoor jazz festival. Drink up what police say a guy swallowed to try and cover up the booze on his breath. Well, in Britain, for example, we found out that the dose was much lower than what you would use in an adult, about five times lower. Children who need adult medications to get better, the only problem is most of them have never been tested on kids. summer sales event where you'll find the best values of the year now to September 2nd at Charles Barker Lexus Newport Dunes and Charles Barker Lexus Virginia Beach. Yeah, I mean sure. I love helping folks save money on car insurance but I also love supporting wildlife conservation. I'm teaming up with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. I mean that's why I'm here really. I'm gonna be making the rounds at a whole bunch of zoos. Hello? And I guess we're done talking? <laughs> Well, that's that then, isn't it? Don't you even want to know where I'll be? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. So how is band camp? It's pretty good. We've been summoning you for hours. It's family time. Oh. Hey, guys. Chad? What the? Look, with my circle, I can choose how much I pay for an unlimited plan. And he can share unlimited calling with the whole family. You can't do this to us. It's a puppy. <laughs> Why spend more than you have to? Choose the circle that fits your family best. And now add unlimited messaging to your circle with the new My Circle Message Pack. Only from Alta Wireless.
It's the best time to drive a Ford. During Ford's model year clearance, every Ford truck comes with our best offers of the year. F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 31 straight years. F-150. It's the perfect truck. Super Duty. Very good pickup. With the most towing and payload out there. And Ranger, with the best mileage of any pickup in America. Final days. Save up to almost 11000 on an F-150 Super Crew. Now with Ford employee pricing and cash back at your local Ford dealer. It's the best time to drive a Ford because Ford quality is now equal to Toyota. During Ford's model year clearance, every Ford comes with our best offers of the year, like Focus with up to 35 miles per gallon. Saves us money. Fusion. That's all voice command. That's all voice command. And America's favorite sports car, Mustang. Doesn't get much better than this. Save up to four grand on the legend Ford Mustang during the Ford model year clearance at your local Ford dealer. Ford, drive one. When the patient is a child, but the diagnosis is an adult condition, the treatment often means gambling on grown-up medications never tested on kids. Fox's Marianne Silber meets a family caught in this urgent medical dilemma. Go get medicine, I give you a fish. Yeah. Little Britton Allison has to take his medicine every day for a heart condition and a rare blood condition as well. At just two years old, he's even had multiple open heart surgeries. He's prone to blood clots, which have led to three strokes, paralyzing his right side. They really felt strongly that if he had another stroke, that it would be... Um, it would be either it would be devastating or fatal. So doctors prescribed Plavix, a drug usually given to adult heart attack patients and the elderly. Well, in Britain, for example, we found out that the dose was much lower than what you would use in an adult, about five times lower. Britain's case is not unique. Pediatricians here at Duke University Medical Center and across the country are starting to prescribe adult medications to pint-sized patients. With more kids developing grown-up conditions like depression, diabetes, high blood pressure, and cholesterol, doctors find themselves balancing medical need with safety. Children aren't just little adults and, and they have different biology and the drug is absorbed different and maybe metabolized different and they may have, it may work differently in, in a growing and developing child and the safety may be different. Dr. Lee says drug companies need to develop pediatric versions, which requires clinical trials on kids. Studies need to be done on, on these drugs in relationship to growth and development and what are the long-term effects of being on a, a drug for perhaps many decades. Despite long-term risks, the Allisons say they had no other choice. Uh, he probably would have died. Instead, his parents are hopeful for their son's future. In Durham, North Carolina, Marianne Silber, Fox News. Coming up next, help is on the way for hundreds of thousands of homeowners facing foreclosure. It's summer, so what's dear old dad doing? Commuting. I'm not sweating it though. I have it for the AC seats. Worth every penny. Summer event rolls on with 0% APR financing for 72 months on all 2008 Escalade models. See your Cadillac dealer for details. You should know what you're getting into, Agent Dunham. Someone out there is experimenting on the whole world as their lab. some questions for you. Enhance and improve the quality of your life. Get answers to common medical questions. My Fox first choice for health. Log on to MyFoxHamptonRoads.com. A healthier you is just a click away. Some endured long lines. Others battled stage fright, all to be the face of Fox 43. Now, meet the top five finalists. Antonio. Hey, Hampton Roads. Get a good look at me. Brandy. Fox 43. It's where you want to be. Chase. I'm bringing high fives back, and I'm ready to be your face of Fox 43. Kelly. Stick with me, Kelly Gata, and we're going to go some places. Carrie. Hampton Roads. Get a good look at yours truly. Vote now for your favorite face of Fox 43 finalist on MyFoxHamptonRoads.com. They've been hunted, imprisoned, and left.
left for dead. This fall, it's time for payback. This is for Siren. We better have one hell of a plan, Michael. When this is all done, we're gonna settle up. Call me when they're dead. No matter what, I ain't going back. Sarah. The new season of Prison Break begins Labor Day on Fox. These days, one thing matters when it comes to driving. This number. With the best available V8 fuel economy of any full-size pickup, this GMC Sierra has a range of up to 520 highway miles. Which means you'll be able to go further than this Toyota Tundra before stopping. What's the point? Less pumping, more driving. Trade in for fuel efficiency and get 0% financing for 72 months on Sierra 1500 extended and crew cabs. That's over 64.75 in average finance savings. Rich. We repair, we restore, we renew. We just want you back together. Mako, America's body shop. Right now, Mako is painting bumpers for $129. Car looks new, but your bumper doesn't? Mako will paint your bumper in one day in most cases and give it a lifetime warranty, all for $129. Bring your car to Mako. We'll get it done fast. We'll get it done right, and we'll get it done for less. We just want you back together. But hurry, offers for a limited time only. From the Fox 43 studio, your late news an hour earlier. This is Fox 43 News at 10, first in high definition. Here's a look at what's happening outside right now. Live Super Doppler 10. Nothing for most of us. However, northern parts of Virginia, one nasty storm up there with some active severe thunderstorm warnings. That one is drifting down to the south, but likely will tend to fizzle out before it gets into our neck of the woods. So overnight, only a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm. For the rest of us, clear to partly cloudy. Temperatures generally in the low 70s overnight. And as we take you into the day tomorrow, scattered showers and storms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Some of these could be on the strong to severe side. Keep that in mind if you have outdoor plans. Temperatures reaching the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Boating forecast, if you want to do it, I'd probably do it in the morning because after that, showers and storms will start to move in and increase in coverage. Water temp 80 degrees, wind south at 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 3 feet. My 7-day forecast coming up in a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Cheryl. In a rare weekend session, the U.S. Senate passed legislation to help struggling homeowners and lend support to troubled mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The measure allows some 400,000 homeowners who cannot afford their monthly payments President, to I, uh, refinance with lower, cheaper fixed rate loans Mr. Carper, and save Mr. their homes. For Americans out there today with distressed mortgages, worried about their economic future, we hope this legislation will be the first piece of good news in a long time that we can actually respond to this situation and offer them some real hope. The measure passed 72 to 13. President Bush is expected to sign it soon. Hit the brakes. Drivers may finally be getting a little relief at the pump. For the first time in weeks, the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded dropped below $4. The new average, $3.98 a gallon. AAA says gas prices could dip by as much as a quarter by Labor Day. The reason? A drop in crude oil prices is starting to ripple out to gas stations. Still, prices are about 65 percent higher than last summer. The National Weather Service confirms at least 11 tornadoes ripped through New Hampshire, leaving a trail of death and destruction. The heaviest damage happened in Epson. The storm killed one person, destroyed at least six homes, and heavily damaged at least 100 other homes and businesses. Witnesses say the twisters snapped trees and blew down power lines. New Hampshire's governor declared a state of emergency in several counties. In Greece, wildfires roar across the island of Rhodes for a fourth straight day. The fires have forced more than 2,000 tourists from their hotels. Strong winds fueled the flames, destroying thousands of acres of forest. France, Italy, and Cyprus have sent firefighting aircraft to help tackle the fire. A severe storm lashed New Zealand's North Island today, causing severe flooding. Officials reported wind gusts of up to 103 miles per hour. The storm toppled power lines and left hundreds of homes without electricity.
Australian investigators started to examine the plane forced to make an emergency landing after a nine foot hole tore into the fuselage. The Boeing 747 made the emergency landing yesterday in the Philippines. The aircraft was cruising at 29,000 feet when passengers say an explosion rattled the plane. Debris flew through the cabin from a hole that suddenly appeared in the floor. Amazingly, no one was hurt. The XM Cirrus merger is a go. Feds formally approved the deal, ending a 16-month-long drama. Cirrus's $3.3 billion buyout means more than 18 million subscribers will receive programming from both services. Consumer groups argued against the deal, saying the lack of competition hurts customer choice. Police say a Nebraska man took drastic steps to avoid DUI and it was all caught on tape. Check this out. Police say the man actually took two sips of whiteout to cover up the smell of booze on his breath. Officers say they were stunned to find his hands and face covered in the white substance. His blood alcohol level was three and a half times the legal limit. My ankle gets swollen, it turns a little blue, <laughs> and it actually feels like a very sharp pain. They may be trendy, but they could cause foot problems in the long run. More on the flip-flop bunk next on Fox 43 News at 10. It's the best time to drive a Ford. During Ford's model year clearance, every Ford truck comes with our best offers of the year. F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 31 straight years. F-150. It's the perfect truck. Super Duty. Very good pickup. With the most towing and payload out there. And Ranger, with the best mileage of any pickup in America. Final days. Save up to almost 11000 on an F-150 Super Crew. Now with Ford employee pricing and cash back at your local Ford dealer. Good news for furniture. Sunday, Haynes will lower our prices by more than ever before, as much as 75% lower than any store in Virginia. Like this $2,200 complete media wall, all for $695. $1,400 of counter height dining, $488. Sunday, Haynes takes a big hit on everything in the store because the more we lower our prices, the more furniture we sell. Get the furniture you really want at a lower price than ever before. Six hours, Sunday, at Haynes. Animation Domination takes you on Bart's Around the World Adventure. What are you thinking? Rope climbing class now! Still sucks! An hour of The Simpsons. Then, it's a swashbuckling family guy. Shoot it again! What? I said shoot it again, but I said it pirate-like. Followed by American Dad. Animation Domination at 7, 6 Central, Sunday on Fox. Hampton Roads only news at 10 in high definition. See every detail in stunning clarity. Fox 43 News at 10, first in HD. Nissan set out to create the perfect on-road vehicle and in the process created a category. Introducing two crossover leaders from Nissan. The redesigned Murano, awarded as an IIHS top safety pick. And the new Rogue, named 2008's best new small crossover. Lease Murano, $299 a month. Rogue, $229 a month. Don't follow the leader, own one. At your Nissan dealer now. I can't stop myself. I need my fix. It started as just a hobby. There was no other reason to get up in the morning. I don't even remember the last time I showered. I confess, my happy hour begins at 4 p.m. on Fox 43. Are you an afternoon addict? We have the shows you're craving. Steve Wilkos at 4, Maury Povich at 5, and Judge Hatchett at 6. Feed your afternoon addiction. Weekdays only on Fox 43. Get your fix. This segment of Fox 43 News is brought to you by Dodge. Chrysler Dodge and Jeep are giving you relief at the pump. We can go anywhere in our Jeep Patriot. We can take that weekend getaway in our Dodge journey. We're going on our summer vacation in our Chrysler town and country. And we won't pay more than $2.99 a gallon for gas. Now when you buy or lease most Chrysler Dodge or Jeep vehicles, you'll pay just $2.99 a gallon for gas or diesel in each of the next three years for up to the first 12,000 miles per year. Now during the Hampton Roads tent event, get our $2.99 gas guarantee plus up to $3,000 bonus cash allowance on select models. Hurry, an offer like this is too good to last. They're a summer wardrobe staple, but those flip-flops are fashionable. Wearing them the wrong way could mean you'll be stuck with sore feet for the rest of the season. Fox's Courtney Friel tells us what you need to do to protect your feet.
You might want to think twice before putting on those flip-flops. Although they're a huge summer must-have, flip-flops might do more harm than good. So when we're wearing the flip-flops, it allows our arches to collapse without any sort of external support. Also, when we're wearing the flip-flops, we tend to grasp with our toes. And that causes other problems, not only in the foot, but the shins, the lower back, etc. Dr. Weisenfeld says she has more and more patients this summer complaining of pain in their heels, arches, calves, and lower back. But pain isn't the only problem. Some patients have extreme symptoms that could have long-lasting effects. When you're wearing very flat shoes, and your calves are a little bit tight, it tends to cause some inflammation and some pulling on the Achilles. So we do see people coming in with Achilles tendonitis. Also, many people are coming in with posterior tibial tendonitis or posterior tibial shin splints from the lack of support because that tendon in particular helps us to hold our arch in the right place. 26-year-old Janice Martinez loves her flip-flops and has them in every color, despite the way she feels after wearing them all day. My ankle gets swollen, it turns a little blue, <laughs> and it actually feels like a very sharp pain, sort of like someone was hitting me on the ankle the day before, sort of like I sprained it. I also get the pain in my calf, it's like a stiffening, and also some sharp pains, like it just rushes through from the ankle above, like, to the calves. Dr. Weisenfeld says flip-flops are okay when worn for short periods of time, but the best summer shoes should have a good sturdy sole, slight elevation in the heel, protection for the foot, and arch support. If you're experiencing pain after wearing flip-flops, Dr. Weisenfeld suggests stretching your calves, your feet, and take a break. As for Janice, she isn't ready to give up her favorite footwear. Every time I go to any store, usually most stores sell flip-flops, so I always tend to pick up one or two pairs because they're always so different wherever you go. I'm Courtney Friel, Fox News. Is the jar more beautiful than the results? Not in this case. Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Intensive with Retinol SA smooths even the deepest wrinkles. So choose. Beautiful in the jar or in the mirror? Healthier, more radiant skin? It's in your future now. Discover the power of Aveeno Positively Radiant. With Total Soy, it's clinically proven to visibly reduce past damage, while advanced SPF 30 helps prevent future damage. Aveeno Positively Radiant. Is there really a health plan? Designed just for us. Believe it, Virginia. Introducing individual and family health plans, new from Optima Health. Health plans are different, but is it easy to switch? Find out how easy it is to switch to a health plan that's right for you. For a free quote or more information, visit OptimaHealth.com slash Believe It or call 1-800-668-1334. Optima Health, a new choice in individual and family health plans. Believe it, Virginia! The future of television is here. Digital is in the air. If you own an antenna TV, you have until February 2009 to upgrade it to digital TV or it will stop working. Call 888-DTV-2009 or visit dtv2009.gov to get a big discount on this low-cost digital converter. Then enjoy DTV with better picture and sound. Make sure your TV is DTV. Find all your answers at dtvanswers.com. It's the best time to drive a Ford because Ford quality is now equal to Toyota. Right now, during Ford's model year clearance, every Ford comes with our best offers of the year, like the redesigned Escape. I love this car. The exciting Edge. Oh, that's fantastic. And the five-star safety rated Expedition. One of my favorite features was the rear view camera. I mean, I'm totally impressed. Attention current Ford owners. Get up to $67.50 cash back on select Ford crossovers and SUVs at your local Ford dealer. A unique test is going on around you. People are testing Intellos Wireless for 30 days risk-free. They're testing our nationwide network. They're testing our service. And if they're not 100% satisfied, we'll refund 100% of their money. Maybe you should test Intellos. We're saving a seat for you. Test Intellos risk-free with 1,200 nationwide minutes for just $39.99. Plus an LG flip phone's just 99 cents. Test the Intellos quality network risk-free today. My heart works fine. It's my father's heart that has me worried sick. That's why I'm glad he chose cardiac care at Chesapeake Regional Medical Center. 
Chesapeake Regional Medical Center is rated the nation's best medical center for interventional cardiology outcomes. And it's right here in our own backyard. I know he's getting the best care available. And that means everything to me, just like my dad. Chesapeake Regional Medical Center, proud to be your choice for life. I'm Bruce Rader. We'll be talking sports every morning when I join Tommy and Rumble live at 7.30 on 98.7 FM 99. Nice grab. Here's a last look at the weather. Hope you enjoy today. I think the first half of the day for tomorrow is going to be okay. Clouds, some sunshine, but then becoming mostly cloudy with scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. And watch out, some of these could be strong to severe. Gusty winds and hail, you know how we do this. This coming up once again as we take you into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90, so a bit more sticky tomorrow. Monday, lingering shower or storm. Then it gets hot for the middle part of the week. All right, thanks, Cheryl. And thanks for staying up with us. Sports Wrap is next. Have a good night. Live from the Fox 43 studio. This is the Fox 43 Sports Wrap with Ahmed Fareed. Coming up tonight on Sports Wrap, more bad news out of the Redskins training camp. A roster change at the Cowboys with camp. The Yanks and Red Sox duel at Fenway. Qualifying rounds at Indy and a special report from Langley Speedway. But first, news out of Redskins Park. And it's another injury. Hi, everybody. I'm Art Khan in for Ahmed Fareed. Defensive tackle Anthony Montgomery broke a bone in his right hand during a scrimmage today. Coach Jim Zorn says the team does not know how long Montgomery will be out. Montgomery started 15 games last season. Of course, the biggest news of the week was the arrival of defensive end Jason Taylor from the Miami Dolphins. Taylor's a pro bowler that has been pretty much injury free throughout his career. He'll help anchor the defensive front along with the skins other end, Andre Carter. Here we have an, an, another weapon on the other side of the deepest of ball, the left side, and uh, we just take advantage of that. It opens things up for not only myself, but everybody else. He brings a whole nother element. You just don't know how many people Jason Taylor makes better on our defense. For one, uh, Drake Crowder won't get double teamed as much anymore. That allows him to make plays. That allows me, Sean Spring, Carlos, to free up and play our game. So a uh, big pickup for us, and I think it's going to pay dividends along the road. What I love to do is, is get after quarterbacks. I love chasing them, making them nervous, making them do dumb things, and that's what uh, I look forward to doing. Staying in the NFC East during the first day of Cowboys camp, veteran wide receiver Terry Glenn was released from the team. Meanwhile, new defensive back Pac-Man Jones continued to get adjusted to his new team. Wearing Deion Sanders' old number 21, Pac-Man is back in the league after serving a one-year suspension. I already got my, my what I need to do, and that's just stay out of trouble you know and uh, my main thing is to do my part and stay out of trouble and enjoy myself playing football uh, I know firsthand that I do and we do have his goodwill uh, I know that um, he's interested and in, was interested in certainly playing and playing for the Cowboys um, we'll see what happens down the road all right, shifting gears now to Major League Baseball, one of the best rivalries in sports. Game two between the Yankees and Red Sox. Let's go out to Fenway Park. To pick it up now, top of the fourth. The Yankees down a run. But here's Robinson Cano. He hits the solo home run off, to, off Tim Wakefield to tie the game at two. Now on to the eighth inning. Wouldn't you know, Robinson Cano again. The deep base is loaded double. The Yankees win big 10 to three, and they continue to close the gap in the American League East. Well, the rubber meets the road at Indy today, where qualifying rounds got underway. Jimmy Johnson on the track ran the fastest lap of the day, just over 181 miles an hour. The two-time defending NASCAR champion gets the starting spot at the Brickyard for the first time in his career. Next to Johnson on the front row will be Mark Martin. The veteran has never won it in. Now on the board, this is how they stack up the Chevys on jo of Johnson and Martin on the front row. A couple of Dodges on row two. Ryan Newman qualified third and was followed by Casey Kane. Four-time Brickyard winner Jeff Gordon on row three with Emporia's Elliot Sadler. Then it's Kurt Busch, Jamie McMurray on row four. Defending race winner Tony Stewart qualified 14th. The nationwide race tonight at the Indy Race Park. Chalk another one up for Kyle Busch. He led 197 of the 200 laps for his sixth nationwide win of the year. But hey, 
You don't have to travel to Indy to watch a good race. In fact, the cars were running at the Langley Speedway in Hampton today. But as I learned last week, you got to do more than drive to compete at Langley. As the drivers line up for the qualifying round at Langley, it doesn't take a trained eye to see how some teams might have an edge even before the pedal hits the metal. Supported by sponsors and pit crews, some drivers have more time to concentrate on, well, driving. But for most drivers in the lower divisions, this is a long way from NASCAR. In the lower division, you kind of are the uh, driver, the crew, Setup man, engine builder, you kind of have to do it all. Snug as a bug in a rug. Like 44-year-old Sean Calway, who races in the Super Street division. You won't see a lot of sponsors' logos on his Buick Regal or a pit crew hovering around the vehicle. Still, he's not completely alone. Working out of his home garage with him in the nights leading up to the race is former Langley Speedway champ Dan Harrell. Harold won't be getting a paycheck for his labor. There's a mutual friendship there. He helps me, I help him. So it all works out. And before this night is through, they'll both get a workout. You kind of got to be a uh, multi-talented. You got to kind of you know, general idea of a little bit about everything on an automobile. In fact, they actually enjoy this work. They have to. I'll spend every night of the week out here if I have to. We have done more than a couple of nights in a row out here. <laughs> we started off at a fairly poor spot. <laughs> but we're getting a lot better. Calway says Harrell has made a huge difference on their two-man team. I, I've done it without him, and I've finished deep in the field. Ever since Danny's joined the team, the car has really uh, moved up. We've got a couple of sixth-place finishes, a couple of top fives, and we're looking forward to going ahead and bringing home the trophy one day soon. A lot of heart in those guys. When we come back, we'll return to the track to see how Sean and Dan do on race day. Stay with us. September 2nd at Charles Barker Lexus Newport News and Charles Barker Lexus Virginia Beach. Hi, uh, yeah, fill up on Palm 6. Sure, that'll be the shirt off your back. <laughs> Sorry? The shirt off your back. Right. Thanks. Have a great day. With gas prices going up and no end in sight, it's time for a more efficient car. That's why today's the day to come to CarMax. We have lots of fuel-efficient cars at every store, plus thousands more on CarMax.com. CarMax, the way car buying should be. Now more than ever, you want to get the most for your money. Look no further than the rugged V6 2008 Kia Sportage. Fuel-efficient, five-star safety rated, backed by an industry-leading warranty, and it's priced about $6,000 less than a Toyota RAV4 Limited. Or to put it another way, a whole year's worth of groceries less. The Kia Model Year End Event. It's money well saved. Now get 0% APR or up to 3,000 cash back on the Kia Sportage. Offer ends July 31st. All right, before the break, we brought you a story about two drivers at Langley Speedway trying to get into victory lane on little more than a tire and a prayer. Now let's go back to the track and see how they finished. I don't trying know. to take it from one extreme to the other. Getting some last-minute instructions from his one and only crew member, driver Sean Calway, is ready to roll. We're going green the whole day, baby. Copy that. We'll find out. As the number 12 car works its way through a crowded field in the middle of shiny cars covered with sponsors' logos backed by talented pit crews, can a guy with a shoestring budget who works out of his home garage really expect to win out here? Oh, it's just like football. Each and every day, you never know what's going to happen. You got to come out here and race. You got to race hard. And uh, when you're out there racing, things happen that you don't expect to happen. And sometimes they move you up, and sometimes they move you back. And the smoke coming from Sean's car means something just happened that will move him back. The power steering cap blew, and he has to make a pit stop. Watch his partner, Grand Stock driver Dan Harrell, borrow some fluid from another team. Turn it up, guys. Turn it up. Let's go. They're going green. Everyone's interested in having everyone during the race have their best opportunity to win. 
and uh, the camaraderie amongst the drivers is wonderful. But it's not all hugs and kisses either. Remember Dan Harrell? During his race, a little exchange of fender paint sent him spinning into the infield. I guess I'm uh, cutting the grass on the back stretch this week. Uh, I think I was in uh, two of the three cautions. I don't think I got a break. A tough night for both our drivers this evening. Sean finished 12th and Dan finished 7th. You have to wonder if helping Sean hinders Dan in his efforts to capture another championship in the Grand Stock class. If it does, the guy has too much class to say. I've always been one to share. Um, I've never been one to be greedy or stingy. Um, I just like, I like helping people. And that makes him and Sean both winners on my track. I tell you what, I want to thank all the folks at Langley Speedway for giving me the kind of access that it takes to bring you that kind of story. And I got to tell you, I had a blast and you can now count me in amongst the legion of sports race fans. All right, news and notes. Jimmy Johnson wins the poll for tomorrow's... Going to the break. I'm sorry. We'll be right back. It's the best time to drive a Ford because Ford quality is now equal to Toyota. During Ford's model year clearance, every Ford comes with our best offers of the year, like Focus with up to 35 miles per gallon. Saves us money. Fusion. That's all voice command. It's all voice command. And America's favorite sports car, Mustang. Doesn't get much better than this. Save up to four grand on the legend Ford Mustang during the Ford model year clearance at your local Ford dealer. Ford, drive one. Truck Drivers Wanted. We at Atco Hauling are looking for drivers to join us. We are one of the largest trucking companies in the area and we want you. We offer competitive wages, a variety of incentive and benefits programs, and a local haul that puts you at home every night. All you need is a CDL Class A or B license, two years experience, and be over 21. We are also hiring mechanics. Spot our pink truck and visit our website. Call 638-7795 for more information. It's on everybody's mind these days. So trade up to better fuel economy now at the Chevy Model Year End Event. Trade up to Silverado with better available V8 fuel economy than Tundra and F-150. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months or get 5,000 total purchase cash on most 08 Silverado half tons. See your local Chevy dealer today. All right, everybody, now the news and notes, I promised you. Jimmy Johnson wins the poll for tomorrow's Brickyard 400. Kyle Busch wins tonight's nationwide race at the Indy Race Park. The Tides lose at home tonight to the Columbus Clippers, and the Norfolk State football team is picked to finish third in the MEAC. Hampton University was picked to finish fourth. That's it for Sports Wrap tonight. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to sports producer Brian Parsons for coming in on his night off to help me bring you this show. Ahmed Farid will be back tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.